Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Isn't right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. That's all I ask. She might even be able to help you. As long as you don't speak too well of Dr. Hildern. Of course. Anything. Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. Two hundred years? Maybe more. Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keeley hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. The director? He's... very well-spoken and... knowledgeable. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley? He crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside, even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Right. Stay safe. Hey. Ah, I was just wondering what had become of you. You won't keep me in suspense for long, I hope. Of course, I can't authorize any payments until I have the data in hand.
I'm Lieutenant Gorobet, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Carry on. Evening. Howdy. Name's Sterling, First Recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Got a good memory for faces. Landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. I call her the Long Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope, and I did that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. I got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork, but I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Evening. Hey girl, you need something from me? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me, I just shoot bad guys. 
Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Some cute little junky bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. What gave me away? The big gun? The shades? Or the attitude? They don't. Only the good ones do. My partner's got some potential, so I let him wear those goofy glasses. I tell him they're his training shades. He totally buys it. Truth is, his eyes just suck. The little guy. Ten of spades. I like him because he listens. Doesn't shut up the rest of the time, but when I talk, he listens. Also, he doesn't pull any stupid come-ons, like practically every other horndog alpha male on this base. Might be, he's just scared of me, though. Yeah, we spot for each other, watch each other's backs. Usually works pretty well, unless you get paired up with an asshole. Thing is, there's a lot of assholes in the army. I keep hoping they'll pair me up with some hot blonde like you see on those old pinups. Shit, I don't even care if she can shoot straight. Can't have everything. You killed him? Well, shit. Here I dreamed up this whole elaborate revenge fantasy. Didn't really think I'd do it, but as long as the tubby bastard was actually alive, I could pretend like I would. Here, I owe you. Take it and get out of here, before I indulge my inner bitch and spoil the moment. Evening. Hey there, miss. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter. At your surface. Oh, yeah. F f fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. D damn right. The LT told you about that? Shit, man. That's... Shit. It was m my fault. See, I was knocked out when it happened. That big guy sneaked up on us. I let b b Betsy down. Shit, you sound like the LT. I should have woken up. I shouldn't have gotten knocked out in the f first place. That shit was my fault. I don't want to talk about it anymore, all right? She's my goddamn partner. See, we work in pairs. We spot for each other. We watch each other's backs. Nobody w wanted to work with me. They said I was too green, but Betsy volunteered. Shit, you don't even know how big a d d deal that is. She trusts her life to the newbie, and I sit here and let her get raped by that piece of shit. Yeah, the LT shouldn't have brought that shit up. Not with civvies, anyway. Ain't right. The LT, Goro Betts gave it to me. See, I wanted to be Ace of Spades, but the LT says, sorry kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me Tin instead. It's okay though, I get a few more k k kills under my belt, he'll move me up to Jack. Jack of spades. Sounds better, right? I keep at it. Eventually, I'll make it to ace. Think I'll skip queen, though. Shit. Long as I can remember, had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ramp, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f farm kid, too. Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? 
taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. I'm Bitter Root, First Recon. You got a reason to talk to me? You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? It's a con name. You know, the great cons? That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. They owed me a name after all they put me through. They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right if you ask me. It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents, too. They were just as bad as the rest. Don't I? Beg pardon, ma'am, but you never met my parents. My dad he got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR, and not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons of Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beatdown. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever want. Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. Yeah, that's probably best. Guess not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try ten of spades. He's always got plenty to say. Me? I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. While, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. Yeah, look, he's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story, and I'd get tired of talking before it was through. You a merc? Well, then I guess you want to talk to my uh, father, Major Daughtry. He's our CO. It's like I told you, Daughtry's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. All right. Goodbye. Hello. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Hey, girl. You need something from me? The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? 
Just another injury to take care of, huh? Well, when you put it that way. All right. You can tell the lieutenant I finally caved. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Yeah, try not to get killed. About time, could could got what was coming to him. This again? Ain't right to talking about this anyway. Yeah, I'll s see you around. Patrolling the... Howdy, what brings you back? Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. What can I do for you? I wish someone with your medical training had come along sooner. I think she'll actually stick with the treatment because of what she said. I was afraid that Betsy wouldn't go for long-term treatment because she didn't want to look bad in front of the rest of the squad. You settled that. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Carry on. Lafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. I'll see you around.
Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. One other thing I forgot to mention, your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? You're already the strongest person I've ever met. The implant won't do anything more for you. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Take care. Hello. What can I do for you? Carry on. Hello. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the Colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nefi. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac. Damn good chef, if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. 
So, which one is it gonna be? Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother, and they never leave her side. Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Yeah, I was there. I was Captain Daughtry then. That whole situation was a mess and could easily have been avoided with good intel. The Major in charge at the time made a bad call. He thought Bitter Springs was full of Great Con Raiders, so we surrounded the place. By the time any of us realized there were civilians down there, women and children, the shooting had already started. The Major froze up at the news and we couldn't get another word out of him. I took over and salvaged the situation as best I could. For my effort, I was promoted to Major. Not quite the way I'd have wanted it. We know they supply the fiends with illegal chems, but they never stick around in NCR territory for long. They know the land and move quick. There's talk from time to time about taking out their base at Red Rock Canyon, but nothing ever comes of it. The Great Khans are tough fighters. If we ever did go up against them on their home turf, we'd win. The casualties would be high. Adopter father, yes. I was very proud when he made first recon. I know that every time I send them out, I could be sending him to his death. But if it's not me, it'll be somebody else. At least this way I get one more chance to see him. Damn right I am, and I'm paying bounties. Right. I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list? Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. That's the best damn thing I've heard all day. Finally, somebody around here with some goddamn ambition. There's two psycho bastards left. Which one will it be? One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. The piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and that makes this personal. Also... He's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. From what I hear, he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's little Buster. So he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit, but I'd still ask him about it. Bounty Hunter talks big, but he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. You've gone after the fiends before. I don't have to tell you to keep alert. Good luck. Right. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a new hero. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. 
As soon as I pick up some caps that Daughtry owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Because I killed a couple of marks for him, that's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little, here and there, but my shit gets done. Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. Oh, yeah. A lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cast from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money. But it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this Mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him. But with this guy, it might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Got any more good news for me? You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. You've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team, first recon. Snipers. If you're lucky, you can lure Nephi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nephi one-on-one, -on -one, but it's your call. Out in the yard. Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nefi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. You've gone after the fiends before. I don't have to tell you to keep alert. Good luck. Right. What can I do for you? Whatever you need, we'll make sure it gets done. Not enough. We've been trying to put a bullet in him for a few weeks. He's strong as a Brahmin bull, and he's fast. Seems like he usually runs with a gang of fiends. Uses them for cover. We haven't been able to get a clean shot at him. Betsy swears she's hit him. Twice. 
But if she's right, it didn't seem to slow him down. I've been sniping since I was old enough to walk. A lot of us sharpshooters get recruited off the farms and ranches out west. Comes natural to us. As for my squad, they're the best we have. My word on that. They're all hand-picked, and I won't work with anybody who isn't up to snuff. Ten of Spades is the greenest of the bunch, but he's a farm boy, like me. Shooting's in his blood. You've got it. What did you have in mind? You thinking of luring him into range of my snipers? It's one hell of a risk you'd be taking, but if you're willing, we'll do everything we can to keep you alive. Listen, my team has a debt to settle with Nefi. We've seen too many of our boys get brained by that golf club of his. You lure him out for us, and if we can score some payback, we'll all pitch in caps for a reward. My team will take up positions around the old rock crushing plant. They'll wait until they see Nefi, and then they'll start shooting. At that point, just keep your head down and stay out of range of his golf club. We'll take care of the rest. Get your rifles and move out first, Recon. We've got a fiend to kill. Should have brought something to read. Aw, oh, just... Whoa!
on. You came through for us. I have to admit, I wasn't sure you'd make it. Means a lot, letting my team get payback. Here, we all pitched in some caps for you. Even Sterling, and he's famous for his tight wallet. Carry on. If that's true, that'd be the last of them. Well, well, well. Driver Nafai. Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No tips on my golf swing. Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. Morale's gonna be better now that he's gone. Here's the bounty I promised. I guess we can send First Recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. Can you bring them down alone? Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. <laughs> 